Hello, this video is an introduction to St. Louis University's Undergraduate Outcomes Dashboard. The Undergraduate Outcomes Dashboard gives visitors the chance to interact with information that answers what recent graduates are doing and where they are going following graduation. The Career Services Department gathers this information from the First Destination Survey. This voluntary survey is sent to bachelor's degree candidates prior to graduation. All data accessible in the public dashboard is anonymized to protect respondent privacy. The Undergraduate Outcomes Dashboard was made with all the SLU community in mind, whether that be incoming students and their families, current students, faculty and other campus stakeholders, alumni or employers. Whichever group you belong to, this video will get you up to speed on the content the dashboard has to offer as well as how to utilize its interactive functionality. Currently, the dashboard covers occupational outcomes, occupational outcomes mapped by post-graduation U.S. state of residence and country of residence, post-graduation U.S. cities of residence, full-time employers and industries, full-time salary range by graduation year, and post-bachelor institutions. The dashboard is available on all major device formats. The Undergraduate Outcomes Dashboard is accessible from the sidebar navigation of the SLU Career Services website under the section name Undergraduate Outcomes Dashboard. Opening this section will display a description of the dashboard and key undergraduate outcomes metrics. Let's open the dashboard. When you open the dashboard, you will be directed to the landing page, which is the positive outcomes chart. This chart shows the various occupational outcomes reported by graduates. At the top of the visual, there are drop downs to filter by graduation year and colleges and schools at SLU. By default, these filters select for all available graduation years and SLU colleges and schools. Let's select for the 2021 graduation class and Chaffetz School of Business. The chart will dynamically update. You can hover the mouse or tap on mobile to view helpful details and pop-up prompts. If you need to revert filter settings and selections, you can click the reset icon in the bottom toolbar. There are two ways to navigate between dashboard sheets. Either click the sheet name tabs at the top of the dashboard or click the down arrow to the left of the tabs to open a dropdown and jump to the desired dashboard sheet. Let's move on to outcomes by state. Like before, the filter selection will be set to 2021 and Chaffetz School of Business. What you will notice is that both the outcomes chart and US map update to reflect the filtered cohort. This visual shows the reported post-graduation states of residence for this filter selection. It's important to note that you can click on elements within each dashboard visual to drill down on a filtered group. For example, clicking the state of Missouri will update the results in the outcome chart to show only outcomes data reported by that state of residence. Likewise, by clicking an outcome option first, the graduate count by states of residence for that reported outcome will update on the map. To clear a selection, Click on the selection again, or click the reset button in the bottom toolbar. The outcomes by country sheet works just like the outcomes by state sheet, except this time, results are summarized by post-graduation country of residence. The cities of residence sheet gives visitors the chance to explore US post-graduation cities of residence. City names and the number of graduates residing there can be viewed by hovering or tapping on city points. The Employers and Industries sheet shows all reported full-time employers and top five industries based on graduation year and SLU college and school filter selections. Filtering for 2021 graduation year and Chaffetz School of Business again, the Employers and Industries displayed will be updated to this selection. You can hover or tap on employer dots to get the name of the employer and the count of the graduates employed there. You can also click or tap on an industry to see the employers that contribute to that figure. 
A search bar is also available to search by a specific employer name. All the information shown in this visual can be viewed in table form by clicking View as Tables. The full-time salary range sheet displays the distribution of reported graduate salaries across all SLU programs based on selected graduation years. The final dashboard component, post-bachelor institutions, shows which institutions graduates attend as they continue their education. Institution names and graduate counts are displayed on hover or tap. Institutions can be searched by name and the results can also be viewed as a table. As you explore the dashboard, you can download the current view results by clicking the download icon and selecting a file type of choice. For survey and dashboard design methods, make sure to consult the dashboard notes sheet. For SLU department data and queries, please contact Charlie Revol. From the entire Career Services Department, we hope you enjoy exploring the Undergraduate Outcomes Dashboard. Thank you.